It's no secret that China is good at copying new technology from the Western countries. Talk of the smartphone technology stolen from America's Apple, the high-speed rail technology copied from Germany, and military technologies replicated from the U.S. You know China even has an Elon Musk lookalike. Hair as Elon Musk. Chinese Elon Musk. Despite China's big success in imitating Western technology, Beijing has terribly failed at copying SpaceX, and Elon Musk's reaction to all of this is simply hilarious. It's nothing like you could have expected. What technology does China want to copy from SpaceX? Why is China failing at imitating SpaceX even when the company doesn't have patents? A company can only be copied when it's doing well and achieving success. A good example, the lazy students in school only copy assignments from the bright students. No single student will waste their time trying to copy a dumb student. This is exactly the case with SpaceX. For the last two decades, SpaceX has made some significant milestones in the space realm, making it the most successful commercial space company in the world. SpaceX's close ties with NASA has revived the space rivalry between America and China. In this regard, China is spying on SpaceX with an aim of building a replica of the private space company. Before we get to know how China has failed in copying SpaceX, let us get to understand the type of technology that Beijing is trying to steal from Elon Musk's space company. To begin with, China is doing all it can to imitate the technology behind the reusability of both the SpaceX Starship rocket and the launch vehicle. This technology is a major breakthrough for SpaceX and an absolute game changer in the space and rocket industry. Initially, the spacecraft and launch vehicle could only be used once, making space expeditions damn expensive. Thanks to Elon Musk's SpaceX, space flights are now cheaper and the trend is expected to continue in the future. As you would expect, China is keen on copying SpaceX's rocket, the Starship. A Chinese startup space epoch has already released a miniature Starship which borrows a lot of concepts from the SpaceX project. Just like the SpaceX rocket, the miniature Starship is also made of stainless steel. What's even more shocking is that China is working on a project of building a mega spaceship that is nearly a mile long. If that comes to pass, the Chinese spaceship would be more powerful than the Starship which is 120 meters tall, 9 meters wide, and has a minimum payload capacity of 100 tons. How feasible is the Chinese mega spaceship that is one mile long? Or are the Chinese just over ambitious? Other than trying to steal the technology that's used in the skeleton of the Starship, China also seeks to understand the Raptor engines that are used to power the gigantic Starship. The Starship booster is powered by 33 Raptor engines when the Starship spacecraft has 6 Raptor engines that power it into orbit and outer space after separating itself from the booster. The Raptor engines are far much superior to the Merlin engines since they produce higher pressure, which is three times greater. Despite their small size, the Raptor engines are the highest pressure rocket engine in the world. If China is to succeed in coming up with a SpaceX lookalike, they must look for a way of manufacturing their own rocket engines. You'll agree with me that the SpaceX Starship is an engineering masterpiece, making it hard for China to replicate. Here's why. If you didn't know, it is very difficult to spy on or infiltrate SpaceX since the US government is greatly involved in the commercial space company's activities. SpaceX is currently working on a $2.9 billion contract for NASA and it also launches spy satellites for the US military. Given the level of national security secrets that SpaceX handles, all SpaceX employees must get a high security clearance before working for the organization. America being America, they do not take chances with their national security matters making it very difficult for China to spy or steal any meaningful technology from SpaceX. You shouldn't be surprised to learn that CIA agents and United States Space Force members actually work for SpaceX. With such an arrangement, you can only expect that China will fail in copying SpaceX. A sharp contrast between China and America's space budgets is another major obstacle that makes it difficult for Beijing to set up a SpaceX rival. While America's NASA has a budget of $27.2 billion, the China National Space Administration has a budget of only $8.9 billion. Starting a space company like SpaceX requires a lot of funding, which the limited space budget of Beijing is not able to support. As mentioned before, 
SpaceX is a big beneficiary of the government space funding since it is often awarded big tenders by NASA. Moreover, SpaceX founder Elon Musk is an ultra-rich tycoon with investments in other tech companies in the world, such as Tesla, Twitter, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. If China is to make any significant breakthrough in copying SpaceX, they have to get it right on the finances. China has itself to blame for the little progress that it's making in the world of space and rocket technology. Unlike the US, China is working in isolation. The United States has partnered with Canada, Japan, Europe, and even Russia in its quest of exploring outer space through the International Space Station. At the center of this collaboration is Elon Musk's SpaceX, which is responsible for ferrying the NASA astronauts to the ISS. This exposure of the astronauts from different countries gives the SpaceX team an excellent platform of sharing ideas with their colleagues from the different national space agencies. It would have been easy for China to copy SpaceX if they were part of the International Space Station. Despite China's mounting pressure and relentless efforts of copying SpaceX, Elon Musk has maintained that he will not patent any of his company's technologies. This is just expected of a typical Musk. You know, the SpaceX founder is different. He believes that patents are for weak people that fear innovations. In his own words, he says patents serve merely to stifle progress, entrench the positions of giant corporations, and enrich those in the legal profession, rather than the actual investor. According to him, tech companies should focus on coming up with new technology instead of preventing other companies from using their technologies. This applies to his EV maker as seen in a statement at Tesla's website that read, will not initiate patent lawsuits against anyone who, in good faith, wants to use its technology. Do you think China can overcome its failures of copying SpaceX by hacking the commercial space company? Will they succeed? Or is it time that China abandoned imitating the US and focused on starting their own space companies from scratch? Feel free to share your views in the comments section below. To end this, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting space news that you would not want to miss. Till next time, cheers!